Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this episode, we're gonna try to build a little bit more on our knowledge of the view router, just see what we can uh, do with it. So, let's go ahead and first clean up our app component of all the stuff that we don't need. So I'm gonna delete the button with the go to and the component. I'm gonna also delete these two links. I'm gonna delete the imports to the components since we don't need them anymore. I'm gonna delete the components uh, property where we register. Methods, I'm also going to delete, and the computer property, I'm also going to delete this. Okay, uh, any everything in the data, I don't need any of that, and I also don't need the data. Cool. So that should be it. Very lightweight component, as your app should be. Now, let's go ahead into our pages, and I want to create a profile.view page. Alright, and I'm just going to scaffold it. And I'm just gonna say if I can type the name div and in here let's just make an h1 and let's say um, profile for now okay let's go into the router let's copy one route let's call this profile Profile and profile. I'm going to copy this thing here, copy profile and uh, import the component. Nice. Now, if I want to go to profile, I can do it this way. All right. Cool. So, what I want to do when I log in, uh, if it's valid or not, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I just want to, after I log in, I want to go to the profile page. Okay. So let's go into our login page. Let's do an on click event, right? And let's say login. Cool. And let's then do methods, login function, and same as before. Let's take this dot router dot push profile. Okay. So login and we're on our profile page. Cool. So this is something that you might want to do. So you have a login page and then you redirect uh, to another page after your login. So you know you want to perform some action and you want to redirect. So that's how you do that. Uh, so at the moment we're only looking at our own profile. So what if we want to look at someone else's profile? All right, so the way we do this, we can specify an ID in the route. So let's say slash ID, okay. And now if we go to the profile and let's do a, or rather um, create a created hook, all right. And let's in here, let's type in console.log and what I wanna log is the parameters parameters and I will do this dot router dot params now when we go to this page you can see the profile has stopped uh, showing so that's an indicator that can actually find this component or rather it's not hitting this route so it can't find this so let's actually make a 404 dot view and let's do scaffold and let's just do something like uh, uh, h2 and in here let's do 404 page not found and let's do something quirky because we're developers so this is what ha has to happen whoops sorry matey So this is what we want to show. And uh, how do we make it default? So, uh, well, what we have to do is basically specify any route that's not one of these. Then we can go to the 404, okay? So the way we do this is we go path, uh, 
star for any name will give this 404 and component will give this 404 but rather let's do uh, error 404 right and um, copy this here error 404 and we'll import this from 404 okay so it cannot find this page why so you can see that we specified the ad here so and this cannot find the ad so if we would have typed in something like hello this would have had no problem uh, finding the end parameters are actually undefined so uh, let me actually param maybe your router or maybe params okay so that's the one view route params cool so uh, a little detour but basically let's get back to it so you can see that when we specify the ad it finds it all right so what we want to do is right we want the profile page to essentially be if there is no slash we want it to be default to your profile if there is a slash we just want it to show someone else's profile okay so what we can do is we can specify a optional id by adding a question mark at the end of the id okay now we're back at the profile and we can see the id is undefined so let's go to the profile and let's say uh, data return new function and uh, I forgot the comma here let's say something like name oh and then here now that we know the ID we can also if you can see here it says that the prop is ID we can also change this to name to make it more um, so we'll fo follow the same pattern because we're we're looking for a name all right so if we're going to be going to a profile we want to be going to slash uh, Barry Barrison or uh, John Doe whatever so let's go ahead and access oh whoa, whoa. Uh, on created, let's uh, basically read this uh, parameter. So uh, this dot name equals this params dot name, like so. And let's say your profile, and otherwise we can say name profile. So v if name and V else. Okay, so let's refresh. Uh, name is on undef undefined here, so let's actually uh, undefined. So let's make a check. So if it's undefined, uh, let's return an empty string and otherwise, um, let's actually make a name just to be a little bit more. Uh, do, 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 do. Name. Cool. Why is it? Am I missing something? It's undefined, so we're setting it. And at the end, this dot name is empty. All right. Set a check like that. Okay. So if it's empty, let's show your profile. And if we go to Bob, we can uh, show Bob's profile, okay? So we would not essentially display the profile based on the ID here, but what will happen is when we navigate to this ID, we would then in the created, go ahead and uh, fetch, um, the information about a person with the name Bob and then populate the page based on this route. And then, if again, if we say something like uh, 
uh, doesn't exist then we can uh, handle that so if it's a 404 we don't actually want to go to the 404 but we just want to say something here like uh, if it doesn't exist sorry mate this profile this user doesn't exist uh, or maybe even redirect so uh, how you handle that is up to you but essentially you now know how to redirect to other pages based on some condition using router push you also now know how to pass parameters to the route and make them optional if you need to make them optional otherwise if they're not optional and they're not present you're gonna get a default 404 and uh, just so you know if we go to any route that's not found we're always gonna get a 404 okay so this will be it for this episode thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this uh, if you have any questions Leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, help me grow my channel. And as always, see you in the next episode.